right, thank you for joining us for this uh, double header, the second game of our double header. The men's team taking on Calhoun. I like those jerseys Calhoun's got on. Jordan Brand. All right, we got Alvin tipping. And Calhoun wins the tip there. Big number. Mitchell Chaffee wins the tip there. Chaffee gets it in the post. Looks to score, and he does. Hook shot, wow. Last from the pass with that hook shot there. Seth Granberry taking up the court. Gonna give it back to him here. McGee looking to attack here. Post up, fade away, and one. Count the basket. Good response there by McGee. Seen two, what did I just see? A sky hook and then a post fade. Don't see those very often. Seth Cranberry already getting subbed out. 43 seconds into the game. We got Bodie coming in. Believe no, no, sorry. That's uh, Bryson Colbert out there coming in for Seth. And number four right now, running the show. Smith running the show for Calhoun right now. He's gonna take it and he's gonna miss the layup, but a rebound there. That's going to be number 20, who just checked in, Bryson Colbert. See what he's got off the bench early. And give it to Bodie here. He's looking to attack, good screen there. Pulls up, three-pointer off the right side of the rim. Calhoun attacking now. And Steele, who's that off? It's going to stay here. Active hands early, though, by Eugene Alvin there. A little bit of confusion here on Calhoun. Who's inbounding it? It's uh, Trevin Ragland finally comes and gets the ball. He's going to throw it, throw it in. Smith back to Ragland. And Turner with the ball back. All right, finds the way to Ragland. Fade away. Off the iron. Rebound. Joe Frazier looking to push. And the long white socks. Oh, tough finish. Stays here, though. And took some contact, almost finished it, but it'll stay here. It looks like he's wearing the soccer socks tonight. I like it. I think it looks good. I like those. Rocking some all white Kobe's as well. The shoe game is on point. Corner, Bodie. Looking to drive, but uh, he's met there by Benjamin Stewart, corner. McGee again, a little bit of a trap here. Shot clock down to five seconds, they gotta hurry. McGee, three-pointer. Off, the, good rebound, Bryson Colbert. Puts it back up, and he's gonna finish. There you go. Making his present felt with the offensive rebound and put back off the glass goes Benjamin Stewart looking to attack. Frazier one on one with D. Alvin front of the post here. Tough matchup. Oh man, this kid can finish here. Bishop seems to have their hands full with the big man. Chaffee. Bodie one-on-one -on -one here, one garden. Lob it in to McGee, got a little bit of a size advantage. And missed inside by Alvin, but he gets it back, kicks it back out to Colbert here. Bodie's got it on the wing now. Drive inside, looking for something to happen, somebody to move. Miscommunication there, but Frazier gets it back. 
Four seconds, step back, Frazier, back of the rim. McGee couldn't corral that rebound. It was a great box out by D. Smith. Both teams kind of filling each other out early here, trying to see what, well, we got a reach there, Joe Frazier over the back, I think. He may have hooked him for a little bit. Trying to front the post there. He had a decent position, but. Can't get it back right here. Trying to work it in there. Trying to back Buddy down there. Fade away, not quite. Rebound, Bishop State. McGee gets it, throws it to Colbert. He's gonna, oh, bad pass. Gonna throw it ahead. D. Smith finishes. Uh, capital, capitalized off that turnover right there. Coach Eagers tell him to slow it down, run the set. Like they want that. They like that matchup in the post, but gotta look up. Stewart's coming, trying to get McGee there in the post he, when he's guarded by Trevon Raglan. I guess they like that matchup, but uh, Benjamin Stewart commits the foul coming across. Back to him in the post again. Now he's got. Kennedy Turner on him. He's going to stay here. Uh-oh. Um, some extracurriculars going on now. Um, a lot of clapping. Double, double tech. tech. Yeah, that was quick whistle. I didn't really see. Just clapping? I guess the I refs are making kinda, a... They were kind of directing it towards well, each other. I guess. That's a statement call from the referees. Yeah. They're saying they're going to set the set the tone early on how this game's going to be played. So double check. Play on, though. We'll keep an eye on that. And Miss Runner, I don't know if they realized the shot clock had to reset after that tech. Raglan misses three. McGee the rebound. Fancy dribbling. He's got... Benjamin Stewart one on one, kicks it to the corner. Burt misses the three point jumper. And Devin McCain will make his way to the scores table now. Good defense there, but he's got to look up. Almost uh, Jose Alvarado move there, almost. Grand Theft Alvarado. Yeah, uh, something like that. Nevertheless, they keep the basketball. Joe Frazier looking to attack here. Gives it to Colbert. He's going to kick it to the corner to Alvin. A little high of a pass, but shows his athleticism and misses the hook. And Coach is going to send. Well, let's see here. He's sending Michael Kennard to the scores table, it looks like. Ready to bring in some guys. Uh, reach, reach foul by Joe Frazier there. Already got two fouls, just six minutes in. And I think we're going to immediate timeout, so we'll be right back. I enrolled in Bishop State in 1998. I had a child and I had to withdraw from school and I always promised myself that once my children graduate from high school, I will go back to Bishop and finish what I started. The pandemic hit and my job terminated me after 13 years. And at that time, after 13 years, I said it was time for me to focus on me. I found out um, while I was unemployed that you need more education, so it was my push to come back to school to finish what I started. 
My kids are grown now and they take care of themselves, so now it was time for me to focus on me and do something for me because I pushed them to go to college and to graduate college. So now they look at me and they be like, Mama, what your grades are like? <laughs> I'm mostly proud that I had the opportunity to come back to school because most people don't get the opportunity. Most people my age, they still have to work, you know, and, and they may have house notes, car notes and all this, and they can't afford to take the time out to go back to school. So I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. All right. So that quick media timeout. We're back on the floor. And uh, they've made their subs. It's Michael Kennard and McCain are in. Out of bounds. That's uh, – can't do that right there. Oh, they called it a charge. All right, here we go, Bishop State ball. Bodie making some quick moves, sidestep, goes up, misses, tries to get his own rebound, does get it, and gets hacked. Send him to the line. Good effort there, Stay, keeping that ball alive. Hits the first. Hits the second, perfect from the stripe. And they're extending this pressure. S zone press. And Kennard meets him at the rim, but that's a strong finish there. That's number 22, Jalen Jackson with the finish. And uh, you got to reach. Brown tried to grab the ball, and uh, his defender grabbed him instead. It's going to be Jacoby Goodwin picking up his first there on the hold. Everyone's well guarded, but they kick it to the corner. And the three balls miss, but McGee gets the rebound. Looking to post up once again. Double team coming. McCain fires. And that's going to be. Oh, rims out. I spoke too soon. Looking to push. Now they're slowing it down. Calhoun. Two pointer. No good. Jalen Jackson once again. Good entry pass inside there by McCain. Kennard catches it free to line, kicks it to McGee. Looking corner to McCain. He fakes it. Throws it middle to Bodie. Bodie's going to attack. Strong play. Gets fouled. Back to the line he goes. And that's going to be on Jalen Jackson. That's his second foul, picking those up pretty quickly. That is, uh, that's a strong take by uh, a buddy there. Right into the body of Jackson, getting the foul call. That's smart play. Hits the first. Yeah, I see a lot of a lot of Kobe's on tonight. Those sure. are the uh, reverse Grinches out there. I see a couple pairs of those. Wonder how they got their hands on those, huh? Tough to find. And he makes the second. Kicks it around. Here comes Jalen Jackson off the dribble handoff, looking to attack. Bodie Garden, and he traveled. McCain came over, forced the travel. Great double team in that situation. Team defense right there. 
Zone pressure coming from Calhoun. Looking to trap the guards, not gonna work this time. McGee gets it to Bodie across the timeline. Bodie swings it inside McGee. Floater, no good. And over the back foul, McGee. A little too aggressive. Let's see what coach wants to do here. He's coming with Eugene Alvin. McGee, taking McGee out of the game. A little, little bit too aggressive, picked up an extra foul. Good, good solid minutes though to start this game. D. Smith bringing it up the floor. Guarded by McCain. McCain staying with him well. D almost losing his dribble, but they're looking to get it into the big man. Number four, 24. Gets him up in the air, but can't finish. Great move though. Bodie catches the outlet. He's looking to go quick, drives up, doesn't get the call. D coming back the other way, tip pass. Still finds its way to Jalen Jackson though. Step back, three pointer, air ball. Missed everything. But good hustle play there by number 10. Jacoby Goodwin to throw it off of the Bishop State defender. Heads up play as it was going out of bounds. Not bad. Gets it to Goodwin. He's going to fire immediately, and he hits the three. A little bit of breakdown defensively. No one ran with him. Maybe a mental error. Got to communicate better. And, oh, there it pass. Brown throws it away. Goodwin going to try another one. Not even close. Maybe a little bit of heat check after the first one, huh? All right, Bodie's got it. They're slowing it down, trying to find the weaknesses in this zone, which is going to be the middle, and then kick it back out. And a three-pointer, McCain. And ref signals to fix the net as that one swished through there. That's how you beat a zone right there. Kick it to the middle and look for the shooter. That is great execution by the Wildcats there and ending in the McCain triple. Bishop reclaims the lead with that one as well. 12 to 11 in this early going. Missed jumper by the big man. McCain takes a bump, recovers, throws it ahead to Bodie. A little bit of through the legs action there. Kane looking for the entry pass to Eugene Alvin, and oh, charge is called. Yeah. Hate to see it if you're a Wildcat fan, but he sold it pretty well. I think that may have been the right call. We got a media timeout coming, so we will be right back with you after this. I enrolled in Bishop State in 1998. I had a child and I had to withdraw from school and I always promised myself that once my children graduate from high school, I will go back to Bishop and finish what I started. The pandemic hit and my job terminated me after 13 years. And at that time, after 13 years, I said it was time for me to focus on me. I found out um, while I was unemployed that we need more education, so it was my push to come back to school to finish what I started. My kids are grown now and they take care of themselves, so now it was time for me to focus on me and do something for me, because I pushed them to go to college and to graduate college. So now they look at me and they be like, Mama, what your grades are like? <laughs> I'm mostly proud that I had the opportunity to come back to school because most people don't get the opportunity. Most people my age, they still have to work, you know, and, and they may have house notes, car notes and all this, and they can't afford to take the time out to go back to school. 
So I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. I'm excited and um all right hope you enjoyed that commercial there we're back with some wildcats basketball 940 left in the first half here and uh both teams uh similar to the girls game earlier physical going at it and both teams pressing full court here uh, compare this to a track meet almost jalen jackson top of the key strong drive Floater's good. <coughs> good body control right there to slow himself down and hit the tough floater in the lane. Guarded. They're gonna have some they need somebody to flash middle here. Can't back down right there. Smart play getting it out. McCain triple. Just missed it. And we got a push on. D. Smith, he's very upset about it. A little bit of a late whistle, but the Wildcats will take that one. Not a bad look for McCain, but it is going to send Eugene Alvin to the line for, I think, one free throw as they've just now in an, entered the bonus, I think. Yeah, that's correct, one and one. Hits the first one, so he'll shoot another. Rocking the, the pink shoes. Solid shoe choice in my book. There's one thing these these teams aren't lacking, it's style, man. A lot of swag on the floor tonight. And hits the backboard on that one, gets his own board. Can't quite finish, McCain gets it. It bounces around, finds its way to Kennard, and the shot clock's at 15 seconds, so they got a little bit of time to work here. All right, kicking it outside. Kennard wants it, but he's getting doubled. He's gonna kick it back out. Three-pointer, ooh, not close. But not a bad decision to pass that one out if you're Kennard right there, out of the double. Gotta settle in. Jalen Jackson, that'll count, three-pointer. And uh, got to close out on that shooter a little bit quicker. He's got a long wingspan, can shoot over the top of you too, though, so a lot of tough guard. A lot of perimeter shooting from both teams so yeah. far. Have to fix the net, I think, once a piece now. Not fixing the net if it's not going in. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> Kennard with a tough finish. Great vision though up top. I think that was McCain with the pass there. Caught him sleeping. And turnover. Bodie up to McCain. McCain finishes. Slap in the backboard. Some style points there. Jackson with it. Jackson, whoa. A little bit out of control, but they say he undercut him. A little bit of a wild play there. As the refs sort this out, he's going to send Jackson to the free throw line. And that's going to be on uh, Kabir Brown picking up the foul there. And uh, drains the first. Yeah, he must have had to wake up early on that. Uh, you know, the sneakers app to get a pair of those right yeah. there. I tried it. Sold out, though. Sleeping on the street, sleeping on uh, the sidewalk, yeah, waiting I, to get in. Yeah, I think everything's gone digital. No no <laughs> shoe stores doing that these days. I don't know. Very rarely. Or he may, he may have a shoe plug. I mean, the name of that guy. <laughs> And uh, Jackson's going to check out of the game. After a pretty good start from him, very aggressive attacking. McCain throws it to the middle of the Bodie, double teamed. Uh, a little bit behind Kennard there, loses the basketball. But will it stay here? It will. Colbert in the game, going to throw it to 
Bodie throws it to Kennard. Kennard sizing up the defender. He's pretty big. Bodie calling for the screen, it looks like. Setting up on the left side is Kennard. Step back, free throw. It's good. Got exactly what he wanted there. That's, uh, you could see him calling it out where he wanted that screen, and uh, he did with it what he wanted to, exactly. Three-pointer. No, Raglan's off. Kick ahead, Colbert. He's going to get, throw it out to McCain, Bodie to Kennard. Sizing him up, a little fake pass, drive. Throws it to Eugene Alvin, who misses a shot. High, very contested. Here comes Colbert. Flips it up, barely misses, though. And we got an injured player, D. Smith. So uh, holding his knee, that can't, doesn't look great. So we're going to go to timeout now. Enrolled in this state. Considering new career change in Weldon, uh, first had to find a school. So when I found Bishop State for the first time, I walked on campus, met my instructors. I knew this was the place I wanted to be, so I just knew it was a great choice for me. Once my children graduate from high school, I will go back to Bishop State. Mr. Maul was the greatest person I ever could have met. From the first day, I can say, when I came on campus, he saw the drive in me, he saw the ambition in me. He would push me harder than others because he knew that what I wanted. And at this time, after 13 years, I think it was time for me to. I lost my daughter I in August of 2016. Um, so when I lost my daughter, life I mean, actually just stopped. So I didn't feel no urges, no motivation for anything. Um, so over time, me knowing that she was looking down on me and so made me push even harder. Because no matter what I did, I knew she was on my shoulder. Um, so to, to see where I'm at now, I know she'll be that much more proud of me. So now they look at me and they be like, Mom, Bishop has opened many doors like, for me. Uh, <laughs> not only did I make the Dean's List, um, I graduated in May. Um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa. I have a new college. chapter of Bishop State. Um, All right, welcome back after that injury timeout. Uh, D. Smith was able to be helped off. Grabbing his knee, though. The trainer's going to check him out. Hope he's all right. Looked scary. Throwing it at the head. Number three, Dexter Smith is in the game. And uh, you guessed it. He's got the reverse Grinches as well. Man, those are nice. Backing down here. Chaffee misses. Good defense there. Owsley with the defense. Uh, McCain sizing up his defender. Quick move to the basket. Jumps into him. Gets the finish. What do you call it? Technical foul? And uh, technical foul assessed to McCain after the basket. Showing a little motion after the big bucket. Couldn't quite see what was said. But uh, the ref caught it quickly. Uh, these couple refing crews are they're quick with the whistle. That's the fifth technical we've seen in two games so far. And it's the first one. They, they well, Jacoby Goodwin, they picked to shoot it. And he hits both free throws, and now they'll take the ball. Bishop State possesses a one-point lead still, 21 to 20 right now. Been a pretty good game so far. Not bad of a, not bad. Raglan setting the screen. For Dexter Smith. Smith is attacking. That's looked, oh, oh mm, my. I don't know about that Jumps one. through his chest, eh? Goodness. I, I do not know about that one. It uh, seemed like an awful lot of a push off, but we will side with that decision and say blocking foul. That's going to send Trevon Raglan to the line to shoot a pair. Or maybe just one. One and one. One and one. 
now he's shooting a pair. Put his, yeah, but put his body on the line there and got the block call. It's a tough, tough foul to take. Cabrera gets it, steps up, and it's a turnover. Goodwin has it. Don't foul him. Well, don't let him shoot that one either. There you go. Those are the Kennard. Kennard's one on two. Takes it. What? He's going to the line. And he wanted the signal for it. looked like he was signaling for a charge, and then he stopped himself and said, do free throws. Confusing. And uh, Bishop fans are saying, call it both ways around us. Missed that one. Last free throw here, and that one rolls in for him. Over the head. They're playing uh, keep away right now against this press. Here comes Smith, gives the ball up. That's number 13, Isaiah Bailey. Just checked in a second ago. Oh, misses the dunk attempt. And uh, Cabrera gets fouled. Reach in. Win for it all right there. Yeah, he tried to slam that one. I don't know if he, if he was, you know, going to hit that. But, I mean, it looked nasty. Colbert uh, at the line. Is that something you practice or you just – I mean, you just think you're gonna slam on this guy, like. I mean, how often can you can you post your your I teammates mean, I, in practice? You I know? guess. I mean, look really aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Media timeout. Media timeout. Sorry. All right, folks. We'll be. We will be right back after this timeout. Motivation for anything. Um, so over started. time, me knowing that she was looking down on me, so it just made me push even harder. Because no matter what I did, I knew she was on my shoulder. Um, so for me, to, to, to see where I'm at now, I know she'll be that much more proud of me. So now they look at me and they be like, Mom, what's going on? open the mini doors for me. Um, not only did I make the Dean's list, um, I graduated in May. Um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa, which is Kappa Epsilon New Chapter of Bishop State. Um, Most the people, people that I met along the way, I could have never work. met if I would have never you know, took this chance on life. They may have house notes, car notes, and all this, and they can't mm -hmm. afford so it. So anybody that's thinking about going back to school, never bullets. give up. Um, I'm 37. Um, so, so it's never too late whenever someone tells you that you can't, you know, push harder. The only obstacle that you play. Welcome back. Another commercial sponsored by Bishop State there. And uh, after that media timeout, let's see how both teams look coming out here. Smith going to take the ball out here. And their press break strategy is just to throw it back and forth between the two guards. Oh, it looked like he drug his foot there, but uh, they'll say play on. That is Coy Yarbo. This, uh, this Calhoun squad has some height about them. And uh, Yarbo makes his present felt quick with that jumper. 
Bodie scouting out the zone. Waves him out. Cross court pass to Cabrera. And he, oh, he took a shot there, it looked like. Wild layup attempt, but may have got bumped. Coming the other direction, Smith. Kenny Turner directing the offense here. Looking to throw it in the Yarbo. He does. Yarbo misses the hook, but a big rebound by Goodwin. And the ball pinballs around several Bishop State defenders and makes its way to Cobert. Wow. Aired pass turns into a dunk for Michael Frazier. Oh, sorry. I apologize. Three pointer, good one. It's good. When good one's good one shooting from deep right now. And he's hitting. It's in his, his first syllable of his uh, last name there. Good. Bodie. Call him for that screen again for Kennard. Takes a bump, and they're going to call a bump. Oh, Two bump. shots. Yeah, that works out. So, Bodie to the line. Bodie, you can tell he wants that uh, the top man on the, on the zone right there. He wants that inside screen from Kennard. He's been calling for it, and you know when he gets it, he can make stuff happen. A good mid-range shooter. Yeah, they gotta they gotta keep working that ball around though, because they play uh, this team plays a good two-three, and mm -hmm. you don't see a ton of teams these days committed to the two-three zone. Today's basketball landscape is one dominated by man-to-man -man defense. So this this is a uh, unique team here some would say good one one on one with Cabrera fancy behind the back dribble almost loses it though now we got Smith one on one here dancing shoots a mid range misses it rebound Bodie gets it ahead and oh my goodness a lot of contact no call goodness Brown got hammered right there a good block. Kabara foul. Kabara gets hacked. And we're going to take a timeout with him. Push now even harder because no matter what I did, I know she was on my shoulder. And um, do something so for me, to, I to see where I'm at now, I know she'll be that much more proud of me. So now they look at me and they be like, Mom, uh, what's your name? Uh, <laughs> not only did I make the beans list. Welcome back. Bryson going to shoot a pair after the strong take to the rim. He got hacked. Front rim's the first one. Almost got the roll. That uh, shooter's touch. Yeah, 
One point ball game here. Bishop State leading by one. And he sinks the second one, way to bounce back there. Smith for Calhoun, down on the other end. They almost didn't see him for a second. Uh, oh, the other Smith, D. Smith, welcome back in the game after his, uh, his apparent knee injury earlier. Good to have him back, doing all right. Mari Usley got hacked, so he'll be shooting. A little strong on the first one. Rattles around, goes off. Second free throw coming up. Big man gonna make this one count here. You gotta, you gotta look up. They've, uh, they've Smith, sent D. Smith back here to balance the floor. And Usley misses them both. And here comes Smith, Dexter Smith that is, and he's gonna fire the three, and he's gonna go off back rim, and Bodie is gonna have the ball knocked out of his hands, but it'll stay Bishop State basketball now. Cobert gonna bring it up the floor here. Passes the Bodie. Bodie looking for that screen again on the top man. He gets it from Kennard. Bump and shot, and he hits. He's getting that shot at will. He's the mid-range master, if you will. If he keeps getting the, them opportunities, I don't know how Calhoun's going to stop him. Yeah, it's that. Uh, it's he likes that ball screen. They've. Uh, they may. He's going to force him out of his zone if. Uh, he keeps picking them apart like yeah. that too often. Calhoun will have to answer somehow. That uh, they're not expecting that ball screen into the top man, but a turnover. Yeah. Good steal. Brown good throws one. it to Goodwin intercepts it. D. Smith passes Goodwin three corner, and it's all front rim. Cobert's got the ball. He's getting double teamed though. He's gonna need some help, and it's deflected. Saved over Ooh. the rim. <laughs> it's out of bounds, isn't it? Uh, over the backboard. Uh, it may, looks out of bounds to me. I was about to say, I don't know if that one's legal. What we got here? Oh, got a sub. Oh, throws his shooting shirt aggressively into the zone bench. And he's coming in for Benjamin Stewart, and that is... I can see a number. That's Ridge Harrison checking in. Bodie working to get open, so is Colbert. And, oh, tough defense. Brown's got it, throws it back to Bodie. Bodie gives it back to Brown, got to get it across here. He gets it. Kennard, safety valve, is able to get it across before the 10 second violation. He's got to work though, five seconds on the clock. Bodie loses it. And a wild throw by Rich Harrison ends the half. So, yeah, your score going into halftime is going to be Bishop 31, Calhoun 27. So we'll see you in the second half.
Alright, welcome back this is for the second half of Vicious State versus Calhoun. Vicious State's winning 31 to 27. And they'll, and they'll get the ball first. Went for the putback, couldn't get it. Travel. D. Smith bringing it up the court for Calhoun. Number one, Trevin Raglan trying to get in there, but gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Bishop State already with two team fouls here. Gets the first one to go. And the second one drops. Boom. It's poked out by Chaffee, but that's as far as it gets. It'll be Bishop State's ball underneath the basket. McGee got his pocket picked, but is able to get back on top of it. He gets fouled by Trevon Raglan. That's their first foul of the half. Foul on McGee. Kennedy Turner will go to the line for two. Mm. Misses the first one. Devin McCain checks in for Colbert for Bishop State. Ooh, Turner can't get either of them to go. McGee tries to get the rebound, just throws it up. Eugene Alvin comes down with it, but it gets fouled in the process. Oh no, I'm sorry. Eugene committed the foul. Chaffee getting some good post work going right now. We saw this early in the first half. Bro Bodie gets the layup to go. Smith, oh, misses the three. Rebound. Devin McCain gets fouled. He'll go to the line.
Gets the first one to go. Gets the second one to go. Devin McCain, two for two. That's a great block, Joe Frazier. I think the referees were discussing who it went off out on, clearly out on Bishop State. D. Smith, good move to get to the basket, lays it up for two. Oh, Chaffee with the block. Joe Fra oh, Joe Frazier gets the mid range to fall. Both, you see both teams still coming with this, this high, high press. And there's Chaffee again in the post. He's been pretty good down there today. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept going to him. Oh, that's off on Goodwin. I'm sorry, off on McCain. The Goodwin made, Goodwin's the one who made the play. Corners missed. Benjamin Stewart inbound it for Calhoun to Chaffee. Gives it to D. Smith at the top. Back to Benjamin. Back to D. D. Smith gets called for the offensive foul. <laughs> Smith's second personal. Calhoun's up to three fouls in the court in the half. Canard gets fouled. Now he'll go to the line. Been a lot of free throws early on in the second half. Calhoun's at the on the fourth team foul now. Gets it to go. And 
Gets a second one to go. There's Goodwin from three again. Misses it, almost gets the rebound, can't get it. Oh, but gets the foul call. Joe Frazier gets called for the foul. with the and one they just they don't they don't really have much of an answer for him right now he's getting what he wants in the paint he gets that one to go he'll be at the line for the end one Joe Fry Joe Frazier coming out of the game now Tabor Brown coming in for him Chaffee misses the end one. A rebound from Amari Usley. And Bodie with the ball. Let's see if they try to run that little pick and roll that they've been running with him all game. Oh, deflected pass. Back to Bodie. Bodie loses it. Out of bounds off of Bishop State. It'll be Calhoun ball. Chaffee, once again, oh, can't get it to fall. A little too hard. Mike Kennard with the ball, passes it out to Bodie. Bodie from three, air ball. Amara, oh, Usley went for the rebound, but stepped out before he got there. That's a media timeout. We'll be right back. push now even harder because no matter what I did I know she was on my shoulder and um, do something so for me, to, I to see where I'm at now I know she'll be that much more proud of so now they look at me and they be like mama uh, what's your grade like for me. Uh, not only did I make the beans list I'm um, I graduated in May um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa with the Kappa Epsilon new chapter of Michigan State um, Most the people, people that I met along the way, I could have never met if I would have never you know, took this chance on life. They may have house notes, car notes, and all this, and they can't afford so it. anybody that's thinking about going back to school, never give up. Um, I'm 37. Um, so. So. All right, we're back. 14 minutes and 34 seconds left in the second half. Bishop State's winning by two, 39 to 7. Jackson will take it up for half it to D. Smith. Back to Jalen Jackson. Oh, he loses it off his foot. It'll be Bishop State ball. McCain bringing it up the court. Passes it to Bodie. Passes it back to McCain. McCain from three. 
Can't get it to go. Oh, good put back. Tabor Brown. Tough two. Benjamin gets the three to fall. Benjamin Stewart from three bring, gets it back to a one point game. Passes it out, Tabor, mm, can't get it to go. Rebound, Jalen Jackson. Benjamin Stewart from three again, can't get it to go. Rebound, McCain. Benjamin Stewart got a good steal. Pass to Goodwin, Goodwin gets it to go. They got a, Calhoun got a good run going there, forced Bishop State to call a timeout. Bishop State's gonna try to calm down. They had a four point lead, now they're down by one. It'll be Bishop State ball, down one. Calhoun coming with the full court press. Oh, Bodie, Bodie bobbles it. Maybe gets away with, maybe gets away with it. Back to Bodie, back to McCain. Man, I tell you, Goodwin has been all over the place tonight with the steal and the layup. He is good one. Good one has been in just about every passing lane Bishop State wanted to have. McCain gives it to Usley. Oh, oh, Chaffee blocks him. Rebound Calhoun. Back to Good one. Good one with the behind the back. It'll be a goal tend. Bishop State has got to get something going here. Bodie passes it to McGee. McGee back to Bodie. Bodie drives, gets fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Fouls on James Robinson, number 12 for Calhoun. gets it to fall. Oh, all, uh, errant pass, but 
It worked out in the end. Kicked ball. I don't know off of who. I think it was, I think it'll be Calhoun ball. Yeah. Good win to Jackson. Jackson drives. Jackson loses it. Oh. Still Calhoun ball. I don't I don't think anybody from Bishop State got a hand on that, but I'm not the one making those decisions. Calhoun gets called for the carry. Dexter Smith turnover. And McGee will bring it in. Mike Kennard passes it out. The three is good. Joe Frazier. Bishop State is getting back into it now. Bishop State still coming with the full court. Oh, almost got him to lose it. Good one in the corner. Misses it. Jackson in the corner. James Robinson with it, gives it back to Jackson. Jackson with the pull up, can't get it to go. Out of bounds off Bishop State. Another timeout, we'll be right back. Considering a new career change in welding, I uh, first had to find a school. So when I found Bishop State from the first time I walked on campus, met my instructors, I knew this was the place I wanted to be, so I just knew it was a great choice for me. Mr. Maul was the greatest person I ever could have met. From the first day, like I said, when I came on campus, he saw the drive in me, he saw the ambition in me. He would push me harder than others because he knew that what I wanted. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I thank him for that. <laughs> I lost my daughter in August of 2016. Um, so when I lost my daughter, life actually just stopped. I didn't feel no urges, no motivation for anything. Um, so over time, me knowing that she was looking down on me, and it's made me push. All right, we're back. Still, still really good game. Tied at 46-46. Calhoun brings it in, gets fouled. That'll be a foul on uh, on Bailey. Jalen Jackson will go to the line to shoot two. Misses the first one. Be a Double change for Calhoun, Chaffee, and Robinson coming out for Smith and Harrison. Going a lot shorter. Two bigs coming out for, for two guards. Rebound, Eugene Alvin. McGee takes it up the court, gets a strip, but gets it back and puts it in for two. Bishop State's back in front by a two. Smith gets called. Smith gets fouled on the floor, though. <laughs> Joe Frazier comes out. McCain comes back in. Let's 
Smith gets it in the corner and passes it out to Harrison. Harrison gets it to fall. Calhoun's back up by one. This has been a very back and forth game. Kennard get with it. Oh, Kennard can't get it to fall, but gets the put back. Can't get that to fall. Rebound, Eugene. McGee hesitates, shoots, misses. Rebound, Jalen Jackson. That's about the, the sixth time tonight we've had to stop the game to fix the net. Oh, we're back, another media timeout. Okay, we'll be right back. Considering a new career change in welding, I uh, first had to find a school. So when I found Bishop State from the first time I walked on campus, met my instructors, I knew this was the place I wanted to be, so I just knew it was a great choice for me. Mr. Maul was the greatest person I ever could have met. From the first day, like I said, when I came on campus, he saw the drive in me, he saw the ambition in me. He would push me harder than others because he knew that what I wanted. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I thank him for that. <laughs> I lost my daughter in August of 2016. Um, so when I lost my daughter, life actually just stopped. I didn't feel no urges, no motivation for anything. Um, so over time, me knowing that she was looking down on me and it made me push even harder because no matter what I did, I know she was on my shoulder. Um, so to, to see where I'm at now, I know she'll be that much more proud of me. Bishop has opened many of your doors for me. Um, not only did I make the Dean's List, um, I graduated in May. Um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa with the Alpha Epsilon new chapter of Bishop State. Um, the people that I met along the way, I could have never met if I would have never took this chance on life. To anybody that's thinking about going back to school, never give up. Um, I'm 37, um, so it's never too late. Whenever someone tells you that you can't, you know, push harder. The only obstacles that you place on you are the ones that you place on yourself, so. We're back. Calhoun will have it. Inbounds pass coming. Math. Jalen Jackson just turning and turning, gets it to go. Brody bring, brings it up, passes it to Kennard. Kennard gets fouled. Oh no, they called a travel. Jalen Jackson of Calhoun has just been issued a tech. That'll be a f one attempt for, looks like Brody's gonna take the shot. Sorry, Bodie. Jalen Jackson is just He's, he's not going to let, it doesn't seem like he wants to let this go. Teammates trying to tell him just, just move, move on, you know. All right, here's the, the, the free throw attempt. He gets it to fall. Oh, he gets one more. Get both of them to fall. That's in the way this game is going. That's not the kind of the points you want to give up if you're Calhoun. You don't want to give them easy points. Jalen Jackson once again down there in the paint can't get it to go. 
Rebound, Bodie. Passes it out to McGee. And McGee tries to go up with it, thought he got fouled, nothing was called. J Ooh, good one, tried to throw the oop, the alley-oop to Jalen Jackson, but couldn't get it to go down. And there's a foul. So Jalen Jackson will go to the line and shoot two. Calhoun's now in the bonus after Bishop State's seventh team foul. Jackson gets the first one to go. Can't get the second one to go. McGee with the rebound. Passes it out to Joe Frazier. Ooh. Oh, another turnover from Bishop State. Calhoun's defense has been pretty suffocating so far. Chaffee comes back into the game. Smith with the floater, can't get it to go. Rebound Bodie. Going back to that pick and roll game, passes it back to Kennard. Kennard with a three, can't get it to go. Passes it out, can't get the three to fall. Bishop State's got a chance to get back in front right here. McGee passes it to Frazier. Frazier stumbles a little bit, pulls up. Oh, oh! Mike Kennard with the putback. Showing off his athleticism. Jalen Jackson getting back to the basket. He's he's scoring a lot of points for Calhoun right now, getting to the rim. Frazier goes up, can't get it to fall. It's loose. Oh, that'll I think that'll be a foul on Smith. Yeah, that was, it was foul on D. Smith. Bishop State now in the bonus. That was Calhoun's seventh team foul. Joe Frazier will go to the line for a one and one. Can't get it to go. Smith will get the rebound. Passes it to Jalen Jackson. Jalen Jackson pulls up from three. Oh, gets it to fall. Calhoun up by five now. 
McGee goes for the three, can't get it to go. Jalen Jackson gets the rebound. Heat check. Mm. Jalen Jackson was feeling it, but he couldn't get it to go. Bodie and Joe Frazier passing it back and forth, pass to McCain. McCain, ooh, McCain can't get it to go. Blocking foul. Kane will go to the line. McCain gets the first one to fall. Ooh, yeah, does get the second one to go. Bounced around a little bit. Bishop State's got to get into a rhythm here. Can't leave Stewart out there. Misses it. Good no. rebound. Bodie. McGee gets the post going, gets it to fall, back to a one-point game. Chaffee with a pull-up. Oh, offensive foul. With that foul, Trevin Ragland is fouled out of the game. Calhoun gets a bench warning. Seems like a lot of a lot of talking going on down there. Kane tries to drive, passes it out to Kennard. Kennard fakes, drives. Can't get it to go, but he will get two shots. Gets, him, gets the second one to fall. Smith gets around, goes for the layup, can't get it to fall. Kennard gets the rebound. He'll pass it over to Bodie. Oh. Bodie gets called for the travel. Kennedy Turner drives to the basket, gets it to fall. Joe Frazier passes it into McGee. McGee's got the size advantage, passes it out to McCain. Back into. Offensive foul. It will be 
be another timeout. We'll take a short break and be right back. Considering a new career change in welding, I uh, first had to find a school. So when I found Bishop State from the first time I walked on campus, met my instructors, I knew this was the place I wanted to be, so I just knew it was a great choice for me. Mr. Maul was the greatest person I ever could have met. From the first day, like I can say when I came on campus, he saw the drive in me, he saw the ambition in me. He would push me harder than others because he knew that what I wanted. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I thank him for that. <laughs> I lost my daughter in August of 2016. Um, so when I lost my daughter, life actually just stopped. I didn't feel no urges, no motivation for anything. Um, so over time, me knowing that she was looking down on me and it made me push even harder because no matter what I did I know she was on my shoulder um, so to, to see where I'm at now I know she'll be that much more proud of me. Bishop has opened a many a doors for me um, not only did I make the Dean's List um, I graduated in May um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa with the Alpha Epsilon new chapter of Bishop State um, the people that I met along the way I could have never met if I would have never took this chance on life to anybody that's thinking about going back to school, never give up. Um, I'm 37, um, so it's never too late. Whenever someone tells you that you can't, you know, push harder. The only obstacles that you place on you are the ones that you place on yourself, so the sky's the limit. Pass it into McCain. McCain passes it to McGee. McGee to Bodie. Inside to Kennard. Kennard's pushing him down. Can't get it to go. Gets the rebound though. Puts it back up. Misses. Bodie. Bodie with the fadeaway. Can't get it to go. McCain with the rebound. Jump ball. Smith was able to get his hand on top of the ball. It'll be Calhoun ball with the possession arrow. Kennedy Turner drives in, passes out to Goodwin. Goodwin can't get the three to go. Good rebound from Joe Frazier. He passes it to McGee, passes it to Bodie. Good two, good layup. Bishop's back in front. Kennedy Turner with the ball. Drives. Good defense from Kennard. Gets the rebound too. Passes it to McGee. McGee can't, oh, McGee can't get it to go. Rebound Goodwin. Back to, passes it to Turner. Gives it to Smith. Smith spins, can't get nothing to fall. It'll be a good steal from McGee. Back to, from Bodie to McGee to Kennard. Back to McGee. Bishop State seems to be just trying to slow things down right now. McGee with the pull up, gets it to fall. Bishop State up by three, two and a half minutes left in the second half. McCain defending Turner, out to Smith. Guarded by Bodie. Go, 
Smith passes it out to Goodwin. Goodwin way off, hits the side of the backboard. Fast break opportunity. Oh, Kennedy Turner with the block. Off on Goodwin, it'll be Bishop State basketball. Timeout, Bishop State. We'll take a quick intermission, be right back. Considering a new career change in welding, I uh, first had to find a school. So when I found Bishop State from the first time I walked on campus, met my instructors, I knew this was the place I wanted to be, so I just knew it was a great choice for me. Mr. Maul was the greatest person I ever could have met. From the first day, like I can say when I came on campus, he saw the drive in me, he saw the ambition in me. He would push me harder than others because he knew that what I wanted. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I thank him for that. <laughs> I lost my daughter in August of 2016. Um, so when I lost my daughter, life actually just stopped. I didn't feel no urges, no motivation for anything. Um, so over time, me knowing that she was looking down on me, and it just made me push even harder. Because no matter what I did, I knew she was on my shoulder. Um, so to, to see where I'm at now, I know she'll be that much more proud of me. Bishop has opened a many a doors for me. Um, not only did I make the Dean's List, um, I graduated in May. Um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa. All right, we're back. Bishop State had that timeout up by three. Calhoun's been getting stumped lately. Just under two minutes left in the game. It'll be Bishop State basketball on their half of the court. McGee with the ball. McGee drives, gets blocked by Chaffee, but it will be Bishop State's basketball with seven seconds left on the shot clock. Passes it into McGee. No, oh, another jump ball. But it will still be Bishop State basketball with the possession arrow. Five seconds left on the shot clock for Bishop State. Kennard with it, passes it out to McCain. McCain shoots. Oh, can't get it to fall. Kennedy Turner loses the ball. McGee's in a one-on-one. -on -one. McGee loses the ball. Passes it out to Stewart. Stewart pulls up. Can't get it to go. Joe Frazier with the good rebound. Passes it to Bodie. Bodie was getting double teamed, trying to do something with it. Joe Frazier's got it now. Joe Frazier loses it. Smith taking it up the court. Gets blocked by Kennard. Mike Kennard has shown off his athleticism tonight with some, with some great plays. Timeout Calhoun. We'll be right back. Considering a new career change in welding, I uh, first had to find a school. So when I found Bishop State from the first time I walked on campus, met my instructors, I knew this was the place I wanted to be, so I just knew it was a great choice for me. Mr. Maul was the greatest person I ever could have met. From the first day, like I can say when I came on campus, he saw the drive in me, he saw the ambition in me. He would push me harder than others because he knew that what I wanted. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I thank him for that. <laughs> I lost my daughter in August of 2016. Um, so when I lost my daughter, life actually just stopped. I didn't feel no urges, no motivation for anything. Um, so over time, me knowing that she was looking down on me and it just made me push even harder 
because no matter what I did, I know she was on my shoulder. Um, so to, to see where I'm at now, I know she'll be that much more proud of me. Bishop has opened many a doors for me. Um, not only did I make the Dean's List, um, I graduated in May. Um, I've also became a member of Phi Theta Kappa with the Alpha Epsilon new chapter of Bishop State. Um, the people that I met along the way, I could have never met if I would have never took this chance on life. Okay, we're back. 40 seconds left. Calhoun's down by three. Bishop State's winning. Let's see if Bishop State can close this game out. Improved to 17 and 3 on the season. Inbounds to Chaffee, over to Dexter Smith, over to oh, the other Smith. Smith, D. Smith takes the three, air balls it. It'll be Bishop State basketball with 28.4 seconds left on the clock. All Bishop State's got to do is run the clock out. I'm sure Calhoun's going to be hacking. Timeout, Bishop State. We'll stay right here. We don't got to go anywhere. You think B Bishop State's going to try to run, run some plays here, get their get their best free throw shooters the ball. Calhoun's gonna be trying to foul. Been a really good game, very back and forth, lots of lead changes. Calhoun came out the second half very, very strong. They were suffocating defensively. Bishop State could not get anything going, but eventually they started getting shots to fall. And Bishop State's found themselves back in the lead. It'll be Joe Frazier inbounding. Bishop State calls the timeout to avoid the five second. Bishop State has no timeouts left. Calhoun still has two. Calhoun's got all their, their short guys on the court trying to be as quick as possible. Let's see what Bishop State drew, drew up for this, this inbounds pass. With the, oh, oh, that's a foul. Foul on James Robinson with the push. He made the play to begin with, but then he pushed. It'll be Joe Frazier going to the line. I, I believe it's two. I believe they're in the double bonus. Wipe the court off, make sure nobody's slipping. Go. 
Joe Frazier gets the, the first shot to fall. That's huge. It's a big shot. It makes it a two possession game. Well, as long as Bishop State doesn't foul anybody. Gets a second one to fall. Huge free throws from Joe Frazier. Huge free throws. Calhoun gets a quick two though. Not what Bishop State wanted to see. Timeout Calhoun. We'll see what Bishop State can, can do here with the inbounds. The last two haven't worked out so well. They got fortunate on one of them. Bounding. Gets it into Bodie. Bodie gets fouled. Bodie will go to the line for two. 18.8 .8 seconds left. Let's see if Bodie can hit both of these, get it back to a five point game. Gets the first one. Can't get the second one to fall. Rebound Stewart. Gets it to Smith. Into the corner to Goodwin. Goodwin hits the top of the backboard. Rebound Stewart. Goodwin going back to the corner. Hits the side of the backboard. Smith, oh, gets blocked by McGee. Goodwin again. Can't get that one to fall. And that's all she wrote, folks. Bishop State wins 65 to 61. It was a good game, very back and forth. Bishop State pulled away at the end, and Calhoun just couldn't get a shot to fall. We'll be back, Bishop State basketball, Thursday. We'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching, and all y'all have a good night.